do a feel good story and get out of here, Mike. I want to talk about an execution in Alabama. <laughs> what makes it a feel good story, Chris? Oh, we'll talk about it, Mike. I'll pull up the uh, I'll pull up the article here, but you pull up the headline here. A woman reporter was told she couldn't go and witness an execution because her skirt was too short. Her skirt was too short. Also, uh, uh, her open-toed shoes, too revealing. Too revealing, because they thought, look, if we let you in there, lady, this guy's strapped to an electric chair. If he gets weird Ernest scared stupid powers, because Ernest goes to jail powers, he could rip out of here and rape you. You need to put on some pants. She had. They made this lady, who has a very hard-to-pronounce uh, last name. Uh, Ivana Horenku. Doesn't that sound like a fake spy name? Oh, yeah, for sure. And she looks kind of like a fake spy. She's pretty hot. I mean, she's got leather or pleather pants on here. I don't know what we're doing. I mean, it's Alabama. Yeah. All the more reason to not wear pants like that. But so I have the, uh, so she works for AI.com or AL.com, which is Alabama, Alabama Alabama's uh, news website. Um, But apparently she's, look, here's her, here's her thing. I have worn this skirt to prior executions without incident. (laughs) To work, professional events, and more, and I believe it's more than appropriate. At 5'10", with my heels on, I am a tall and long-legged person, she said on Twitter. Hirin Q, an award-winning journalist, they don't say what award because it was probably the best pickled pig's feet at the county fair, uh, has attended and witnessed seven seven executions, just missed one. Like, what are you reporting on at the execution? You're going to get the last well, just just tell somebody to text you what his last words were. Like who the f- how first of all pull up a picture of this lady again? Is she now hotter that you know that she really just wants to watch people die? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. She's just like I never miss an execution. My god. She goes and checks out executions then picks up some random guy in a bar after yeah. like I got to feel something. Yeah, I just uh just 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 Slap me around. She, yeah, she wants to get a uh, whiskey poured at her eyeballs while she gets railed out after watching the execution. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's can you like just think about like the the bullpen at this newsroom? Uh, you know, it's Alabama, so I guess we're executing somebody. I'll do it. All right, Jesus Christ. None of us want to do it. I, no, 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 I don't care what he said. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, no one wants to go. I'll do it I said I'll do it what a fucking psycho they were literally like hey miss you gotta put pants on like they made her put on another reporter's fishing waders because they know that's why they were worried about that skirt because the guards already know they were like look this bitch is gonna gush all over the place right this is an electric chair we can't have that much wetness yeah we don't need a puddle in here (laughs) the moisture in the air everybody's gonna get shocked some guy, one of these guards just got new hair plugs. They're going to get pulled right out. They're gonna, mm-hmm. It's going to be crazy. This is a feel-good story of the week. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get podcasts. And make sure you follow me at Chris from E-K-L-Y-N on Twitter. And make sure you support our sponsor, guys. That sponsor is Promescent. That's P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T. They got an assortment of products to enhance your sex life. And you use the promo code GOON, you're going to get 15% off your purchase and free shipping.